guys in this video we are going to see how to add complex number using operator overloading in C++ programming the first thing we are going to do is we are going to define a class for that <coughs> so let's name the class class O ok class O and inside of this class we are going to create a private section in order to declare our variables we are going to declare two private variables so private section is going to look like this private and then we are going to <coughs> declare two variables let's call them integer r m the reason we are doing is because if you think about imaginary numbers imaginary number pattern comes like this for example a plus b i so here a is the real number and b i is the imaginary number right so that's why we need two variable in order to uh, do the imaginary number addition <coughs> So let's. Uh, I have to put a semicolon after this. Okay. Then after that, I'm gonna create a public access specifier. Public access specifier. And after that, we are going to create a return type with a void return type get function. Void return type get function. And inside of this one, we are going to input uh, inputs our imaginary and real numbers so we are going to create a cout statement for that cout cout and then backslash n for the, for a new line and then enter enter real and imaginary part <coughs> imaginary part and let's finish this one and now user has to input some values so we are going to put c in and uh, real comes with the uh, imaginary m and then semicolon after that we are going to create another one to display like this display the declared values to print the declared values so that's going to be I'm going to create this one with void pro, uh, void return type. So this is going to be void this, and then inside of this function, we are going to have this real number and arithmetic operation. Real number and arithmetic operation is plus right here. So this is plus because we are going we have to get this pattern. That's what we are doing. A plus B I a plus b i so we have to have this plus sign and also we have to put this i right here right first we have to have real number that's why r then plus okay then we have to have the imaginary number and then after that we have to have this i value so that's what we are doing right here and uh, let's continue here here after that we are going to put the imaginary number that's m and then after that we have to have an i sign so that we put i and that's it let's finish this one and uh, now we are going to do the overloading so first I'm going to create the class type let's say op and uh, the keyword is going to be operator to overload the addition part so operator since we are trying to add we are going to put the plus is to overload okay then inside we are going to inside the parenthesis we are going to specify the class type that's going to be op o and after that inside this class we are going to declare s object to store our real and imaginary number so that, let's go ahead and de declare so th this will be class s and then to store our real number i'm going to put s dot r is equal to r plus o dot r and then to store our imaginary number we could put s dot m is equal to m plus o dot m and now to return we put return s return s and we close this one now that's it for this one now we have to go to the main function to call the functions so we are going to the main function first we clear the screen clear screen clear screen and then semicolon after that we are going to declare the objects for the class so let's uh, declare three objects 
two of them to call the function, one of them to store the uh, add and store the function, uh, whatever the function we called. Now, the first one, of, uh, I'm going to declare three objects. Let's call them pqz, pqz, and then I'm going to call the p. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to use p to call the function. So this one p dot get p dot get and parenthesis semicolon. After that, I'm going to use q to call the function q dot get parenthesis semicolon. After that, we are going to store these two store the we are going to add them and store them. So we are going to use z to do that. Z is equal to p plus q and semicolon then that's it now we are going to finish this one with set z dot this and semicolon after that get ch and then semicolon now this one probably works now let's run this one and see what happens okay okay there's some mistake right here class operator okay class class actually class op i shouldn't have put operator okay now this one should work <coughs> clear screen clear screen this one clear screen was not declared in this scope okay let's see int main and we have this one clear screen mm -hmm. okay C -L -R -S -O -S 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 -E -R alone i do i shouldn't have put n right there okay let's run this one okay now enter real and imaginary number so i'm going to enter two numbers okay let's put uh, Three point okay. Let's say three point two, three oh, and four point one, and enter real and imaginary part. Okay, there's something wrong here. Let's try it again. Let's say two two. Okay, um, five five. And if you see this added these two together and we have this uh, real number and imaginary number addition and that's how we do the addition of complex number using operator overloading in C++ programming. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.